Uh, hello, welcome to the Virtual Cheese Awards. I'm Bruce McDonald. I'm moderating this session. We are be, going to be judging traditional vintage cheddar, which is sponsored by Able Box, which is an independent uh, cardboard box manufacturer based in the southwest of England. Uh, they've recently invested £7 million in a brand new facility. Uh, the judges today are Nikki Phil, David Evans and Kelly Dowson. So would you like to say a few words about yourself, starting with Kelly, please? Hi, everybody. I'm Kelly Dowson. I'm the Managing <coughs> Director of the FIS Group. Um, really looking forward to today. Done quite a lot of um, in-person cheese judging in the past, but this is my first virtual event and really looking forward to testing some great cheese. Uh, and Nikki? Hi, I'm Nikki Philp, um, Purchasing Director at Harvey & Brockless. Um, we work with many of the uh, cheese uh, manufacturers and producers across the UK and um, Europe. Um, looking forward to getting back into uh, some judging today after a uh, long miss um, due to the current pandemic. Um, and looking forward to some great cheeses ahead of us. And finally, David. Hi, I'm David. Um, I'm the co-owner of Milk and Dairy Company. 38 years in, uh, in dairy from milk and cows in mid Wales through cheese production, packing, um, and for the last 30 odd years, cheese grading. And uh, like, like the others, looking forward to some uh, grading and uh, judging after uh, uh, quite a bit of time um, out, of the, uh, out of the environment, which has been sadly missed. Fantastic, thank you all very much. So we'll move on to our first class, which is traditional vintage cheddar. A4, and uh, the first cheese is number 1103. So for the benefit of people tuning in, we're looking for different attributes in the cheese. We're looking for the appearance, the aroma, the texture, how true it is to character, and most importantly, the flavour. It's those five attributes and we will score every cheese based on those and we will also provide a few comments about each cheese. So, carry on folks. Okay, well, um, firstly, as you look at this cheese, you can see the lovely rounded um, yeah. surface of the cheese. And as you look into the cheese, you can actually see the discoloration around the edge where the cheese is just starting to dry out, which is the right thing for the crad cheddar. Um, nice even colour throughout that product. Um, nice bit of open texture there, which again, with a traditional cheddar, you should be seeing. And the most striking thing when you open that pack is the aroma. And uh, yeah. just sort of smelling there. And the tradzy, fausty, sort of musty um, smell and aroma you get with that cheese is just so typical and it's and quite intense it, isn't it? it it is really you can smell the kind of the cloth can't you the uh, yeah. Yeah. the cloth you know, it's... You know, if you taste um, taste a, um, a block made cheddar which is obviously the main part of cheddar in the uk you don't get any of that kind of aroma and it's completely different that it's it's very exciting on the nose to start with um i haven't tasted it yet but i'm sure it's going to be wonderful but yeah um first impressions are very good there's quite a bit of cracking going through it, isn't there? Um, I don't know about yeah. your piece, but I've got quite a few cracks coming through. Yeah, and, and again, for a traditional cheddar, um, would be fairly typical. Um, it's not made in a block form or so. You know, when you you buy a, a, a piece of mass-produced cheddar, it's, 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 it almost bores like a candle and there's no openness anywhere because it's pulled vacuum in, in, in the block form is where this is... Um, will have just been made in a tin mould, pushed together, and you do get these different um, textures. But, yeah, I mean, the aroma of tasting this cheese. No. <laughs> I'm going for it. Wow. Incredible start to our, uh, our cheese that we're doing today. Mm, that's quite powerful, isn't it? Oh, um, Vintage traditional cheddar class should be nice and powerful, and wow, that does make your mouth water. So mm -hmm. my mouth is watering. Mm. Beautiful. I think there was taste. a little bit. Tastes a little bit of salt, but um, it's phenomenal. The texture's the texture's good. 
Yeah. Either is it a tiny bit of powder, a bit powdery on the texture? A little bit, a little bit drier texture than, than if you like standard cheddars. Mm. But, um, yeah. Um, very nice. Nice even colour, nice texture. It's a very good start. Mm. It's quite rounded, isn't it? Quite balanced, quite a nice aftertaste. Yeah. Kind of go back and eat some more. Yeah. I, I always, Nikki's heard me say this many times before, I'm sure, when we've been judging, but I always, when I'm judging, I have this simple measure in my head. If that was on a cheese board in front of me and I was sitting here with a glass of wine, would I be nibbling at that cheese time after time after time? And the, mm. and the answer is yes. Yeah. If, the answer, if the answer is yes, then it's ticking the box, isn't it? Yeah, no, exactly. Have you I've had, thought, I've had... thought about scores? Okay, what, what we said we wanted to do, um, Bruce, because um, obviously whatever we start with, we've got to be able to move it around it. Yeah. Um, that, that could be the best cheese in there. It, it might be the worst cheese in there. If it is the worst cheese in there, wow, we've got some beautiful stuff. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> I think we thought we wanted, a, we wanted to grade a couple of cheese before we start. I agree, so yeah. So we yeah. A, so yeah, just give you, fail. Let you make a standard. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Carry on. So the next one will be 1106. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels a much firmer kind of texture, firmer piece of cheese. Yeah, the aroma isn't um, nowhere near as strong, is it? Not, not, not as powerful as the last one. No. It's a bit more, it's more solid. Mm. Yeah. Appearance-wise, it look it's a little bit more cons well. It's very consistent in its colour, isn't it? It's quite clean, isn't it? Quite a clean mm -hmm. block by comparison to the yeah. It's yeah rind. It's very. The other one had a lot of different flavours going on. This is intense. Very. It's one-dimensional, but yeah, it's so intense. It it makes it doesn't just make your mouth water. It, oh. It's quite it's, strong at the back end, isn't it? It's it, like burning. It, it, it actually almost burns, yeah. Mm. That, whether, the, whether that's a um, different starter type, but it's so intense, it does actually almost burn your, burn your mouth. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, live TV. <laughs> it tastes a bit... A bit farmy, don't you think? A bit sort of farmyard. A bit more traditional, I guess. It's in a bit more taste. My IT solution. Tape. <laughs> Actually, it's, I don't think it's as creamy. It's a bit it's firmer in the mouth, isn't it? David, you've lost the camera in your taping. I know, but I haven't put tape over it. Bear with me. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> now, Nikki, what do you think? That feels a bit that feels a bit firmer. That one. Yeah, it feels texture-wise a lot, a lot more close knit, a lot, a lot more kind of solid, really. Um, mm. When you break it in your hands, it kind of like break to kind of a almost the powdery kind of texture almost in your hand it didn't kind of bind well together when I was rubbing it in my hand they just it's quite I thought there was a touch of sweetness at the start to be honest I thought it was going to be one of the sweeter types of cheddar but then it kind of turned from that straight into something much more I, I found that quite burning at the back yeah it, quite it strong quite quite kind of farmy kind kind of 
I don't have that kind of more traditional it's, old style kind of cheddar. Yeah, it, it almost burns like histamine, but it hasn't got that sweetness that you normally expect when you have those slight histamine flavors. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, mm. uh, it's 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 not as rounded as the cheese as the first one, in my opinion. Right. Um, and uh, I'm always scared to eat any more of it because it does burn. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it, I think. It's so, do we so do we want to score some of that already, or do you want to do another one and then taste? Because I think we probably could score that one, couldn't we? Because we've I, probably. I think, I think we can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, in terms of um, appearance, well, it looks it's, it's pretty nice, yes. pretty clean, traditional. Yeah, yeah. Probably ticks probably all the boxes. Yeah, so um, so it, as a level, are we gonna, if we said that was a seven out of ten for appearance, then we've got we've got a scoring for level to yeah. work, haven't we? Yeah. yeah, yeah, agree. I think yeah, seven or eight somewhere around there. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy to give it an, to give it an eight. I mean, it does look it does look fine. I mean, I, I must say, I, I, I preferred the, the 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 appearance of the rind on number one than this one, but. Uh, but the appearance is, is is fine, so I mean I'm happy to be seven or eight, Nikki. So, Kelly, what do you, what are you thinking? I think um, uh, eight. Okay. Is, yeah, it's it's, it's, fine. it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go eight then, shall we? On. Um... Right, so this this is for one one zero six. Yes, one one zero six. Yeah. Eight for, the, eight for appearance. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Aroma. I'd say. Four. Go quite yeah. rogue there with the. Cool, that's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> you think? You're being harsh with the numbers. <laughs> to be fair, I can not, probably be harsh at times. But I'm, I'm not I'm not one for sitting on the fence, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> no, me neither, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, I certainly wouldn't be. I certainly wouldn't be above a five. So, and, and it kind of irrelevant, really. It's, yeah, four or five, somewhere around there. I agree. Yeah, let's go with that then. That kind of gives us our bench, doesn't it, for aroma? Right, four or five, or in the middle. Could we go four point five? Is that is that an option? option? <laughs> well, it's come up on the screen. It's there. Okay, we'll have to do that. Then. Okay. Um, what else have we got then? Te texture okay. is next. Yeah, texture is okay. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with the texture of the cheese, really. Um, again, maybe not quite as good as number one, but um, so I think seven would be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that, yeah. Okay, fine, yep. So true to type, well, it is pretty true to type. It's a traditional trad cheddar. It's the right shape. It's um, It's been, we obviously had cloth on it at some point, yeah. judging by the side. So I think it is pretty true to type, isn't it? I yeah. can't see it. So, I mean, that's going to be in the, I guess, eight for eight. true to type. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Eight, yep. And flavour. I'm not so hot on this. <laughs> Me neither. I, I wouldn't be more than a five on flavour. I, I kind of would agree with you on that, yeah. I'd go four again on flavour. But I'm I think middle of the road. I'm happy to be four. Yeah, go four, yeah. Go four. four. Okay, that's that one. Total of 53.5 points. And I've, I've put some of your comments down on it because we were asked to give a comment about each cheese. So I've put uh, less aroma, consistent colour, slight sweetness at start, then an intense one-dimensional flavour uh, breaks down to a powdery texture. Sure, sounds perfect. Shall we, okay. shall, we, shall we score 1103 now then? If you don't mind, yeah. Yeah, yeah we could go back, couldn't we, I guess? Yeah. Well, I think, should, do we want to, yeah, well, I guess, but perhaps do we want to score 1103, but leave the um, flavour piece until the end? Yeah, we can come back to that. Yeah. Because yeah. then that gives us a chance of where we want to just put it, doesn't it, really? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so what's appearance. first up, Bruce? Appearance. I think it's pretty good appearance on 1103, isn't it? I think okay. it's a eight or a nine. I, I'd be nine. Yeah. Yeah, let's go nine. Eight, nine. 
uh, aroma. I think that David, was pretty strong. Yeah. David yeah. did say it was very exciting on the nose. It is, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I can't really fault it on the nose for a traditional for a vintage traditional cheese. I am. Um, so what do you want to go? Nine, ten? No less than nine. Yeah, Let's go nine it. then. Let's go nine. Nine it is, yep. What's next up? Texture. The texture is quite good on it. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's an eight on texture. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah, I'd go eight as well. Uh, true to type. Well, it's pretty true to type, isn't it? It's exactly as we would expect. Yeah. So I guess, do we want to go with the full ten or do we want to go nine? I don't think you can fault it. It's got everything that that cheese should be is, is there. You know, you've got your nice rind, you've got your discoloration around the edge where it started to dry out. And you can see that, that sort of differential of color from the outside to the in. You've got a nice bit of open texture, which you, you should have in this product. That's 10 for me. Yeah, let's go 10. Let's go 10. Okay. okay, so we just need to come back to the flavor on that when we taste the next one then. Yeah, okay. Okay, next up is one one two zero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very nice appearance. Quite sweet. Yeah. Well, you can actually see the the calcium lactate in it. Yeah. Um, it's got quite. To, a... it, it, it will have been. It will probably be a sweeter flavour. Which I have to say, I think is a bit sad for traditional cheese. But let's see what's different. It has got quite a, quite a good aroma of crabby as well. It's, it's got quite a glossy cover, hasn't it? But yeah, I'm sure that's shiny. Yeah, yeah, shiny. It's slippery as well. It's very, very wet I think, feeling. I think sometimes when you. Um, it was high, tightly vacked, wasn't it? Yeah, when you vacuum pack them and put them in a shrink bag, it's got that glossy co coating on the on the cheese. The texture is a little bit, a little bit drier, and you can just see mm. the feather, feathers a little bit as you um breaking down to the edges of the, 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 the piece of cheese. It's um. Yeah, quite grainy. It is, Tastes, yeah. Feels a bit grainy. Um, feels a bit parmesan-y, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it does actually. Quite sweet. Yeah, the, the, there's a hint of sweetness as well as it definitely has that traditional. It's got a bit of savoury to it as well, hasn't there's it? There's a nut, nutty taste going on for me. Yeah, mm. there is. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's nice. It's nice. For me, it's in between the two we've seen. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So, um, yeah, in terms of um, scoring it, the appearance is very good. Do we want to go eight on the appearance? Yeah. yeah, I think the appearance is, yeah, eight. Eight, yep, got that. The aroma, that was quite quite pleasant, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, it's sweet. Seven? Yeah. yeah. Seven, yep. Yeah. True to type, well, I think. Uh, yeah, texture, text, texture, texture, texture first, nice. please. I'm yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> I need to write these in order. <laughs> yeah. Texture wasn't quite as good. It was a little bit... Said it was a bit drier. Yeah, it's yeah. A bit drier and um, when you break it down, it's just a little bit feathery around the edges. So, do you, should we go mid table for texture then, sort of a five or a six? Six, I think. Six. Yeah, six. Okay. Uh, true to character. Pretty true, yeah. true to character, I'd say. Mm, I'd say it's an eight, eight for me. Yeah. yeah. Probably on the same level as the others. Yeah. Okay. And do you want to do flavour just now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we should score the flavour on this, yeah. Yeah. So so on the one we scored for flavour so far, we only gave it a, we gave it a, a four. four. Yes. Um, a four. 
I think this is more like a five or a six. Yeah, I think I think six. I was thinking in my head. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a six. Okay. Six, six it is then. Yep. So it's got a total of thirty-eight um, comments. So I haven't put everything, but visible calcium lactate. Um, quite sweet, nutty, good trad aroma, uh, slightly drier texture. Yeah. Okay, so next up we have 1129. Is going to be intensely sweet. Oh, wow, there's some farmyard notes going on for me on this one. Mm, this does smell sweet, doesn't it? There's a lot of sweetness, I think, going to be in this. Mm. It's quite, quite moist, isn't it? It is, yeah. Looks mm. quite wet. So this is made, this cheese is made with um, the sort of sweet adjunct, which is used in a lot of mass produced cheeses as well as occasionally in traditional cheeses like this. And when you get that, you do get this slightly more brittle open texture with showing a little bit more free moisture, which this does. Um, and you get the sweeter, sweeter flavor. And I suppose for me, I don't know why we would have that sweet character and want to make a traditional cheddar sweet which is basically the same as mass-produced cheddar in the uk the extra matures and vintages tend to be made with a sweet culture so a traditional for me should be something different and, and that's been made in a cloth and rounded and um you know you can, you can see on the on the on the surface of the cheese where the cheesecloth was and where it's molding up but I would say it wasn't it wasn't left for long because there's no there's no uh, drying out on the surface, so it's it's been bagged as well as um, put in a cloth. But I suppose the the, the disappointment for me is that it, it's sweet, and if I wanted sweet, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't pay more to have a traditional cheddar, which cost, well, you know costs a lot more to make and and. and I think it's a bit forgettable, isn't it, on the palate? It kind of you have it, it's sweet, and then it just vanishes yeah. kind of there's no kind of lasting aftertaste no um but just this know, it's almost it always tastes a bit watery in some ways so i sort of felt a bit bit there is a yeah. there is quite a there is quite a nice creamy texture up front but i think it is a bit i'd say forgettable yeah i i i taste that cheese if i taste that cheese blind I wouldn't be saying traditional cheddar. No. And that, that for me is the issue. Mm. Why would I pay, you know, a lot more money for that traditional vintage cheddar when it tastes the same as a, 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 a block variety, which is made with an adjunct flex culture as well. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Okay, so we may as well score it then. Yeah. Okay. What's, what's the first one, Bruce? Appearance, please. Mine's quite, it's quite mottled, mine, but the same colour. So I think I'd go quite low on appearance. Quite wet, quite open textured. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so three, four. Four, four. yeah. Four. 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 Four, yep, that's in. Uh, aroma. I don't think it's really got that strong. No, aroma. it did when we opened the packet, but I think it's doesn't it doesn't have much now. It smells. I've got a nutty again, nutty notes, but I'd go three again, fairly low for that. Yeah, I'm probably with you on that. It's non-existent. Yeah. No, no issue. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, uh, texture. Um, well, the texture wasn't. Amazing, was it? It would break down quite quickly, quite wet. Um, I think we probably want to go the low, probably four again, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
four is in, uh, true to character. Well, you've said it's not a traditional flavour style. I think you've got to go two with that, surely. <laughs> it's got to go quite low. It's yeah. got to go low, absolutely. Yeah. Then flavour. Yeah, are you okay with two, are you? For okay, true to yeah. character? Yep. I, think that, I mean, that is very harsh, but it, it isn't true to type, so... It's yeah. Fine. It, it, it's in. I've put it in the, the the comment. Not a traditional. I put a lot of sweetness, which you said, and then not a traditional flavour style. Yeah. And traditional yeah. in parentheses. So, flavour out of ten. Uh, no, it's got to be down the bottom. So the four kind of comparable with that. Yeah. Well, do we think it was as bad as the? Well, not as bad, but the that kind of burning sensation we had. It's different, isn't it? But I mean, probably I mean, on the same score. I, I think it's before the burning one, yeah. but so five then in that case because yeah. we scored four on flavour for that yeah. one. Five, right? Yeah. There's a total of twenty point five points because it's the flavours uh, weighed up by fifty percent. So I've put down a lot of sweetness, not a traditional flavour style, slight free moisture, lower lower level aroma. I don't think you need to say much else about it, really. No. <laughs> okay. One one eight one. Yeah. I like the look of this one. I'm kind of confused by the shape. And me. <laughs> I I mean that is not the right shape. And I thought that when I got it out originally it's it's more a gouda shape than a, a cheddar shape i, I know I, i've been trying to work out how that is yeah i i i'm wondering if it was in the right category <laughs> <laughs> it's very kind of waxy and dark in color isn't it yeah always Okay, let's have a nibble. It's kind of an interesting smell to that. That is very strange. <laughs> it smells it smells bizarre, which makes me think it's going to be very strange in a minute. It, I'm I'm getting there. It's Oh. No. Mm, I'm not really sure I can taste that. No. That's kind of as I feared it was going to taste. It always tastes a bit like, I know it sounds weird, but nail varnish remover kind of reminds me of that kind of weird smell of it. Kind of hair droppy, nasty. Well, that's not nice. No, that's not good. I've got a different block to you guys. I quite like it. You can't. <laughs> oh, I've got this really horrible taste in my mouth now. You've got a dog in there with you. I've I, I just been joined by two Labradors. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm just seeing a dog. Uh, <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to remove them in a minute. Lottie, you're not to be in here. I know it smells good, but it's not for you. <laughs> so, yeah, Lott, I'm just going to remove Lottie and Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Before a piece of cheese gets taken. So I, I mean, I agree with the comment about the, the shape. It does look... Uh, it doesn't look the right shape for a traditional, but, you know, things can change. Maybe tastes, somebody's... Yeah, it tastes yeah. really bitter. There's a really, a really kind of dirty, strong kind of lingering not aftertaste to that. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to get. Ed well, I'm hoping that's getting edited out quite seriously. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Extreme is good. <laughs> Oh, I, I can't go back and eat any more of that. I'm sorry. No. no. And what, what, what do you think? So, Kelly, I'm kind of intrigued as to... I don't get... Well, to be fair, the more I've had of it, the, there's inconsistency in the bit that I've had. So the nail varnish remover comment, um, 
I did get that in one little bit, but I think it's unoffensive. You know, I don't think it's as good as the first one, but I think it's unoffensive. So I get really. <laughs> Really I'm obviously the uh, odd one out here, but that's fine. No, no. Perhaps you've got a different piece. Maybe. <laughs> no, it looks pretty similar. <laughs> okay, well, um, I suppose we can score it. Yep, so appearance first. Well, the actual curve, you know, the, it's nice, even colour, nice, rich colour. Um, you know, it's almost like just made with good, rich summer milk. Um, so the appearance is okay. The shape, I don't quite understand how, what, what, you know, whether that's been made in like a, you know, sort of a, a big wheel rather than a trad. I, I guess it has. I don't know. It's not, it's not a shape I recognise with a traditional cheddar per se. Um, but the curd itself looks very nice. It's quite dark. That's the only thing I sort of think it looks quite dark in the yeah. flesh here. Yeah, it, but, it, it, it is darker than the rest. But yeah, it? you're right. It, other than that, it doesn't look, you know, yeah. completely outrageous. <laughs> um, so I guess we go with six. Uh, yeah, six sounds good. Yeah. Six, yeah. Aroma. I didn't like the smell on it, I have to say, because no. I think it tasted like it smells. It, it does. Can, can... Yeah. yeah. But if you tasted something different, then you're probably not going to get that, Kelly. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go wild for it, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't. I'd go middle of the road, but it feels like we. Four? Yeah. Four. Happy. Four. Four is in, yep. Uh... Texture. Texture is not bad. It's okay. It's not, as good, it's not as good as um, some of the others, but is it a five or a six? Yeah, okay. okay. Five. 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 <laughs> you go six. Yeah. Go five. I'll go with the true to type, <laughs> not true to type. No. One, two. 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 Yeah. Two. And flavour? That's, I don't like that at all. I'm sorry, but I can't go any higher for me than like two, three. I really don't like it. Yeah, I wouldn't be more than three. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Kelly, what then. do you want to do? Because you kind of like. I'll go, I'll go three. I'm right. happy with three. Okay. So it's scored a total of 21.5 points. My comment, please disagree. Uh, put more of a gouda shape, flavour of pear drops, bitter, unpleasant lingering aftertaste, rich even colour. So I've tried to be positive in there. <laughs> You've done the, the bit in the middle as the bad bit. <laughs> well, it, it is what it is. We can't uh, make yeah. it so purse out of the sow's ear. Oh, I know. So, Finally, uh, whatever numbers. Kind of intrigued by Trish traditional cheddar with black wax round it. One two zero six. Which has been which has been reformed. Uh, yeah, I mean, how does that fit into this category at this all? Does, this does not fit into this category. Do we even? Is it? Is well, I guess we have, do. We need. Should we judge it? That becomes the ultimate question, doesn't it? My, my, well, my comment is, it shouldn't be in this class. You know, this is a traditional vintage cheddar, and this is a reformed, bowl chop, and then extruded piece of cheese in black wax. I don't see how that can possibly be in with that. Doesn't seem right at all. Well, it's radically different to the rest yeah. on, all, on every level. Yeah, yeah. This, this has been bowl chopped, extruded. It'll be soft, sticky, pasty. Yeah, all those things. Yeah, yeah this is... Um... <laughs> It's also put black wax all over my knife now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's slightly annoying. Um, yeah. Not sure what this is doing here. Wet, moist. Pasty. Eye watery. Is that a term we can use? Eye watery. I, I, I've been listening to what Dave... Um, 
And I must admit, I agree with him. I put reformed, extruded, not a trad, should it be in this class. Yeah. And it tastes like sweet fudge. Yeah, yeah. it does. At it, every it level, it's you, like that. If you like blindfolded yourself, I think, you know, only right at the end of that would you actually think that that was potentially cheese. Texture, actually, no texture whatsoever. It's been, you know, chopped to within a moment of its life. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. To be honest, it's you, not a great example of that type. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You would think that was fudge. That's so accurate, Nikki. Yeah. Well, they do taste like it, don't they? Just I don't like sweet stuff particularly either. So for me, it's always like a real extreme of sweet shock to my system. Yeah. And we come across a joy like that. You could actually roll that out, couldn't you? It's so kind of pliable. You could putty your window with it. You yeah, you could, couldn't you? You could make it could be used as play-doh. Yeah. So I've I put <laughs> Uh, have I put anything positive? No, I've put nothing positive. I put <laughs> Interesting. Reformed, ex reformed, extruded, not a trad. Should it be in this class? Fudge flavour. So, would you, you like? Would, would you like to score it? That's yeah, hard for, to score uh, it, isn't it? When it's should appearance. we score it, Brace? Yes, you should. Well, Sorry. it's going to have to be low, isn't it? Ones and twos yeah. all across the board. Yep. I'd yeah, just for, just for his cheek of being added. Okay, let's run through it then. Appearance, well, we're just going to go low, are we? What, two? One. 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 Okay. Right. Uh, aroma. Uh, uh, aroma. One. One. Are you just going to go one across the fours? <laughs> yeah. Extra. One. That's definitely one. one. Yep. Uh, true to character. Zero. Zero. Surely. Zero. See, I didn't just do straight ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, flavor? One. Christ, I thought I was harsh. Okay, well, it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not quite in the running for Supreme Champion. Sorry. No. Uh, what, so, what, so I guess what that does answer our question, that our number one is that cheese at the beginning, yeah. because we yeah. actually haven't actually saved anything else to just score the flavour, have we? No. There's, so that makes that bit easier. There's absolutely no doubt which is the best cheese in that class. Yeah. yeah. So, I have to say, when we tasted it, it at the start, I thought we're going to have to have incredible to beat that cheese. I didn't that quite is... get it. Yeah. So what are you going to score it for flavour? I think it's going to be up there, isn't it? It's sort of a... Do you I want to go 10? 9 or a 10, yeah. 10, I guess, if it's the best one in the bunch. Fine. I guess I'll... Yeah. Ten. And tastes lovely. Really nice piece of cheese. Yeah. Right, so I can... I can put that in first. What... Um, uh, amusingly, on score, then, what comes second and third? Second was 1120, the third cheese. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought in my head. Then 1106 um, will be third, I reckon, is it? It is, yeah. Yeah. That feels right to me. That's yeah, that, cool. feels, that does feel right to me as well. Because you want to make... An, uh, what I said about the winner was... Well, what you guys said about it was very exciting on the nose, even colour, good texture, powerful mouth-watering flavour. Any more comments to add? No. Um. I would say it's a fantastic example of its type. I'm going to get that line out early on, David. <laughs> All right. Very good. Right, I'm just having a bit of a clear up. Is that okay? Yeah, I, I'm going to yes. wash my yeah, I want to just... the keys board. So, should we reconvene in five minutes? Yeah, we'll take a yeah. take a quick okay. break and that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah so cool. Now, I'll be back here at 10 past with a, with a new brew and washed up. Okay. And Thank you very much. I will now sort out the scores and send them off to Richard.
Thank you. Right, we're just going to take a break, get everything refreshed, get ourselves refreshed, and I'll sort out the scores. Uh, five in the next one. Um, traditional stilton, uh, sorry, best stilton. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. C one one O O three.
Is everybody ready? Me? Sorry? Sorry. Is everybody ready apart from me? Yeah, we're waiting for you, David. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one second. <laughs> Oh, this looks nice. Oh, cracking it open. Excellent. Well, I thought I'd get ahead of the game. Yeah. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna do, as I said, we're going to do the introductions again. Because this will then be going online next week as a separate session for what we've just done. Oh, so what, we've got to do that freewheeling bit again at the start? I'm afraid so. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, this smells. This smells nice. I'm quite looking forward to this. Creamy. Just, no, no, sorry, you're teasing me. It's just not right. I was going to say, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit harsh, isn't it, you having nothing? <laughs> I feel like I should ah, pass something over to you. But I can drink as much coffee and bitterness as I want because I don't have to judge. Mm. Yeah, I guess you've got that positive on uh yeah, yeah. Positive uh, on us. Yeah. Plus, I'm, I'm in my man cave, so everything I need is kind of about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mm. This does yeah. look very promisingly nice. Very exciting. I, I, I did look at the class running order. I don't know if any of you did. And I, th I thought, yeah, that's the way it should be. Start mm. with, you know, what should be the cleanest, most rounded blue cheeses and then work our way down to something that's probably quite young and got a lot more bitterness. Yeah, I have to say the um, the actual scheduling is <clears throat> spot on, really. I mean, the amount of times that you go to these events and you rejig the way you're going to do it, you've probably oh, yeah. found as well, Bruce. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's kind of a given, isn't it? Each time, just look at what you've got and then reschedule which one you're going to do first. Yeah, but I kind of expected Sarah to have it right anyway. Mm. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. Is this the class where I've got something missing? Yeah, so I've got missing, I'm missing cheese too. So you, you two uh, we'll get, to, get to tell me what it's like. Right. Are you the only one that's missing it? or? Yeah. Does everybody have? You have got two, a... Got, a, got a full set of five. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. That spreadsheet to open up again. Right. This is class C one. Best still. Best still. Right. right. So David, I'm just saying I'm going to introduce you all again, and you'll have to do your little personal yeah. introduction, and then they'll stitch the whole thing together, the techie people, and send it out to whatever next week. So just tell me when you're good to go, and I'll start. Good to go. You okay, Kelly? Yeah, good to go. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good yeah. to go. Right. Okay, we'll start. Uh, hello, I'm Bruce McDonald. I'm the moderator for this class of judging, which is class C1, which is the best blue still. And it will be judged by Nikki Philp, David Evans, and Kelly Dowson, who will introduce themselves. Uh, Nikki, would you like to go first, please? Hi, I'm Nikki Philp, um, purchasing director of Harvey and Brockless. Um, we supply um, many cheeses to uh, the food service sector across the UK. Um, looking forward to doing uh, some judging today, um, having had a long break uh, due to the pandemic. Uh, Kelly? Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Dowson. I'm the Managing Director of the FIS Group, which um, is home to Food Innovation Solutions and Good Sense Research. And yeah, really looking forward to trying some really great cheeses today. And um, David? Hi, I'm David, um, co-owner of Millbrook Dairy Company, 38 years in dairy from uh, starting milk and cows in mid Wales um, in 1983 and um, then went to uh, work through cheese production, packing, grading and commercial um, and uh, looking forward to judging the uh, virtual cheese awards. Okay, we'll start with uh, cheese 1103. Would one of you like to Describe what you're actually looking for in, in a, a blue Stilton. Yeah. That? Yeah. I guess we're looking for a, um, a nice kind of bluing all the way through. 
kind of uh, nice, nice, nice rind, um, quite quite mottled and uh, I guess what, what do you say it's sort of I say a general nice appearance um, quite creamy tasting cheese with a nice um, kind of blue flavour kind of ba well balanced um, and rounded that's sort of my yeah the, the, the veining is uh, supposed to come from the radiate from the centre out the way you, yeah. yours Kelly, yours looks particularly interesting. I don't suppose you'd like to hold it nearer the camera, would you, so we can all have a good look at it? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. Now you're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. Oh, no, it's all right. Uh, it's okay. Um, I'm not jealous in the slightest. Ah. Uh, it hey. smell, this does oh. smell lovely. Are you going to do it the same way you did the last class with maybe look at the first cheese and not score it fully uh, yeah. until you look at one yeah. or two others and then get a balance for everything. Yeah, I think so. Okay, fine. Yep. Yeah. So 1103, who's going to start on the... Uh, okay. Well, I would just say that well, one thing when I'm looking at blues, getting the natural veining of, of the bluing through the, through the curved particles of an unpressed cheese like this, I think is um, important. And, and I I'm not seeing this of bluing where the casing rods have gone in. And on my piece of cheese, I don't know whether you can see it, but I have, you can see there's definite lines yeah. of, of, mm -hmm. the, of the piercing rods that have gone in, which I suppose for me- Which is, is interesting, because on mine, I haven't, I haven't really got that so much. Neither have yeah. I. Yeah, I suppose it just depends where they cut. Where, yeah. Where they cut. Um, but, yeah, I like to see, um, and when I look at some of the other examples here, which are in clear film, there isn't any marks or on, on none of my piece, any of that. But uh, but it does feel like it's going to be nice and creamy. And the one thing Hilton, that always annoys me is when you when you have it and it's a bit too young and it's it's dry and it's acid and it's bitter, really bitter. This sort of mm. feels like it's going to be nice and creamy which hopefully will mean that it's not bitter but, yeah uh, let's have a nibble so yeah you are missing out Bruce now <laughs> it's got that lovely smell that you get when you go into a Stilton you know into the ripening room you can just you can yeah. you know you just smell that and it just takes you into that sort of ammonia kind of environment yeah. that's right yeah it's got, it's got high, levels of, high levels of moisture I would say quite quite crumbly Yeah, it's quite crumbly. Mm. It's a bit more bitter than I thought it was. I, going I think to be, it actually. is actually. I think it's quite quite bitter. Yeah, I think it's the bitterness is really over overpowering, isn't it? It has got more bitter, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a little disappointing. I thought that was going to be more rounded and more balanced, and the creaminess might balance it out. But yeah. I think uh, it will be interesting just to see um, <clears throat> when we grade through these others. Um, I think we're going to have to keep scoring some of the scoring back until we've looked at another yeah. two. Yeah, it might, it might have to change. Yeah, but that's the whole point. Indeed. So do we, well, we can probably go with some of the boxes, can't we? So um, appearance. So I think on the whole, it looked really nice. Yeah, kind agree. of thought it looks you no know, nice um coverage of bluing right across the, the cheese. Um quite evenly balanced. So I actually think from appearance point of view it looked really quite cracking actually. Probably in I the think, higher scores. Yeah, I'd think an eight for the appearance. Yeah. Yep. I kind of agree. What's your thoughts, David? Well, I suppose my, my piece isn't quite as good as because you've got, and, and, you know, mm. it's, it's where you cut the where you cut it, and yeah. You know, so there's, there's a few patches without bluing on mine, and, and there's, there's some piercing marks. But for my piece, I'd be more like a, a six, but that's that's just because of this piece. And you, well, should we go seven then? Because then that's in the middle yeah. of both of us, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Aroma. I think it smelled really nice. 
I would did. say yeah. it really, I think I'm a little disappointed to be honest, because I thought it smelled, smelled quite creamy. You know, it had that, that yeah. nice kind of yeah, trademark really Stilton smell. I think, yeah. I think really nice. I think we should score that reasonably highly. I think that yeah. probably should be a, an eight yeah. as well. Yeah. Texture. Well, I think you're right. It's quite wet, actually. Kelly wasn't quite as dry yeah. as you would expect. So six. six yeah. yeah. Happy with that. True to type. Well, I think it is true to type, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Should we do eight, nine, eight? Well, well yeah. so on that, you've given it there's a wee bit of disagreement about appearance, but seven was the majority, then eight. And then six for texture, so it can't be that true to type if it's. Oh, if it's I guess only, yeah. If it's only averaging seven across yes. those other three criteria. Good point. Should we go seven then, okay. or do you want to go less? No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think less. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Flavor will leave them for the minute. Flavor will leave yeah. for later. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So I've put. Uh, quite crumbly, bitter. Two pieces look better than the than the other one. Do you want to any more comments in there? No, I think that's all right. No, mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay, so one one zero one zero eight nine is next. Okay. From appearance wise, my the blue central and coming out, which I think is good. Don't forget, I don't have this one. So uh -huh. you guys, you guys need to. Yeah. So my piece, and we are here to be critical. So my piece um, on one side has reasonable bluing, but on yep. the other side has a lot less right. bluing. So, um, you know, we've got to judge these on the, the piece of cheese we've got in front of us and uh, that would be a, a negative comment, I suppose. Um, the yeah, it's, now, yeah, it's the variability, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks quite dry. It's, a, it's not, yeah, it's drier than the last one. It's not got such a strong aroma either, has it, David? It's not, but I think it's a nicer cheese. It's nowhere, it's, it's not got anywhere near that bitterness of the last one. It's much, it actually looks, it, in my opinion, it tastes better than it looks. It looks like it could have been a bit bitter and a bit chalky, but it's not. So it's, 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 it's less bitter than that last cheese. Um, yeah, I agree. I would much prefer, I, I would nibble this cheese. The other one, maybe not so much. Mm -hmm. um, so, aroma is good. So, where, where, where do we want to start? Aroma? Mm -hmm. uh, appearance. Okay, so Please. appearance. Mine, as I say, has got one side with a lot less bluing. Um, like it's half, 50 percent of one side of my of, of the one side hasn't got any bluing. So appearance is a bit variable. So. I suppose my piece I'd be a six. I'd go. I'd go. I was going to go seven. Okay. Um, but okay, uh, mine's more consistent than yours, which ultimately means it's not that consistent as a block. So maybe we go with six. Yeah. Okay. Six. Yeah. yeah. Six. Yeah. Aroma. And nice. This is, is inviting. Inviting it's, aroma. It, That's a good yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice. You've got that ammonia, with, and you don't get any bitterness on the aroma. It's good. I'd be an I'd be an eight. Yeah, happy with eight. Okay, uh, texture. I'd say uh, that's an eight. I'd, I'd go with an eight. I think it's nice texture. Yeah, no problem with that eight. Okay, true to character. Um, well, it is so. Seven or eight? Eight. Eight. Um, do you want to do flavour just now? I'd go up there with a seven or an eight on flavour. I, I think it's eight on flavour. It's, it's very good. Sorry, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the wrong one to not have. Yeah. I mean, out of, out of those two, you definitely missed that. <laughs> it's the way it goes, isn't it? I'll have right. to be in Bruce's camp for a minute. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's scored quite well, and I've given that the comments is variable in lack of brewing on one sample, drier, less bitterness, tastes better than it looks, inviting aroma, good flavour. Yeah. And it's scored pretty well. Okay. Uh, one, one, three, four next. Welcome back, Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> back in the game. Back in the mix. There's lots of blue in this one. Yeah. This looks... Yeah. My, my sample here looks sensational. Yeah, I have to say, this does actually look pretty hot. Nice, even kind of balance. Yeah, very good, uh, very good blueing, very even. I've got a coconutty smell to mine. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. But it's still got that fundamental kind of musty kind of yeah. Stilton kind of ammonia smell, hasn't it? Very good. It's got a slightly sweeter, it's slightly uh, sweeter than the last one. Um, and if you were to taste the first one now, after tasting that, it's horrendously good. I'm going to taste the other one again now. It'll be disgusting. <laughs> cool. That is strong, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, totally different. Quite, it, um, that's much more sort of farmyard as well, isn't it? Much more um, kind of rural, real strength of flavour. But you go back to number one, which I just have, and the back mm, flavor, Yeah, I have, it, yeah. It, you know, the back, yeah, back flavour is bitter in this. Yeah, it's just yeah. overriding, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas this kind of leaves your mouth um, with a much more pleasant flavour. Mm. I think this is the best one so far. Do you, David? Yes, I think it is. Very good. This is really nice. Um, you know, the, the overall appearance of that, that bluing is, is faultless. Yeah. If you, if you were going to make a model of a piece of Tilton, <laughs> that's it. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. Okay, so, scores in cool. the door. It's got to have a 10 for appearance, surely. I think so. Yeah. 10 out of 10, yeah. Aroma? I'd go 8. Yeah. Yeah, agree. Okay, uh, texture? I think the texture was lovely. Really smooth, really creamy. Yeah, really good. 8 again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And true to character? Definitely. 10? Yeah. yeah, 9 or 10, yeah. Yeah. Nine or ten, which I think it's a ten. Ten. Let's go ten, yeah. Okay. Uh favor. Very, very, very good. Yeah. At least a nine. Yeah, yeah, I think I feel happy with a nine. Nine. Okay. Uh so what do you want to give cheese one zero zero three, the first one for flavor? Well, probably Two? four or five or something. Oh. Four. <laughs> Middle of the right. Oh yeah. Cool. Okay. Just so, this is what we need to do. Next we have one one two six. It's a lot messier doing Stilton, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of cleanup operation involved yeah. in this. Kind of crumbled off in the bag. 
Yeah, no, mine too. Snapped a bit when I got out, got it out. Mm. Yeah, oh, these ripples things, on the rind. Yeah. The trees can often suffer a wee bit in transit. Mm. This one's not as evenly spread on the blue, but there's a lot of blue going on. There's a lot. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it looks very busy. Yeah. yeah. Can, yeah. You pop it near the, can you pop it near the camera a wee bit, Vicky? Yeah, Kelly, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, it looks lovely and busy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the aroma is very good. Yeah. Quite strong, isn't it? It's a lot stronger that smell than the last one. Mm. It's not as firm as the others. I wouldn't. No, I think it mm. feels like it's got a bit more moisture to it, hasn't it? I, would, I, I think would it's say, pretty. I would say it's an older, um, it's an older Stilton, and when you try it, you'll see it's got a lot more flavour. It's it's like a yeah. more vintage Stilton. Quite. It's really, the... really wet. Really. Yeah, really quite soft, quite. It's creamy. It's sensational eating. Oh, that is nice. That is stunning. That is really nice. Oh, my goodness. Now, I am going to put some of that on this. That. Wow. It's, it's, it's got a lot more flavour. It's broken down more. It's, got a lot more it's just really well balanced, isn't it? It's not the the blue is not kind of strong and overpowering. There's a nice creamy balance in the back, and it's just very rounded, isn't it? The blue notes on that one are a lot stronger for me. They're coming more mm. into the nose than the others, yeah. which is good. Dive in for a cracker as well, David. I think that's a good good idea. The beauty. Those crackers are really good. Yeah, Peter's the Peter's yard ones are. Wow, that is good. Mm. That is a sensational mm. piece of cheese, and oh, mm. have a glass of Shiraz here now. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be, I'm done. <laughs> mm, that is really, really good. It's a step up in flavour. Than any yeah. other. Wow. Okay. Do you, want appearance, to, uh, do you think yeah. appearance? We gave the last one a ten, didn't we? Should we give it a nine? It's not quite as. I don't know. Um, doesn't... Yeah, I mean, I suppose my the bit I've got is probably as good. Right. Um. um uh, maybe may, may, no, maybe not quite as good as that last one. So yeah, nine. Yeah. Okay, nine. Uh, aroma. Um, yeah, the Roman was good, yeah. Um, nine I think me. nine again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, texture? Um, I think that was really, ten. That was really good. Yeah. Hi. Everybody happy with, with, happy with ten? It's yeah, little, yeah. It's a little bit creamier, but that's, I think it's purely down to the fact that it's, 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 it's an older Stilton, and when you taste, taste it, you can see it's older. That is really good. So we're all happy with uh, 10 for texture, are we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's yeah. go 10 for texture. True, true to character? Can't fault it. Yeah. Ten? It's going to get 10s all the way through, isn't it? I, I think, think that's where we're kind of headed. I think we are. Okay, and flavour? 10. 10? Yeah. I, I can't fault it. Okay, and my... Comments from, from what you said, I've put down very good aroma, creamy texture, stunning flavour, to quote David, uh, stronger blue notes on the nose. Mm. Yeah. Right, uh, cheese 1227. <laughs> So there's quite a lot of blue going on, not so much around the edge. There, is, there seems to be a wee bit lower, just where your index finger is. Seems to be less blue there. Yeah. On, on that one, Kelly. Yeah. And, uh, and on the on the bottom that I'm looking at, it's quite far away from the. Uh, the right. Coat. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the same on mine. Yeah. It could have been a, a top or a bottom, rather yeah. than a, rather than from the middle. 
but I'm not judging it. So. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look. There's a lot less blowing on mine than on the last two. Or two yeah. Probably any of them. It smells a bit stronger to the nose. A bit more pungent. Yeah. Can smell the blue notes more, I think, on this one. Mm. It's very bitter. Not as bitter as the first one, but it's quite bitter. Mm. Yeah, that is quite bitter, isn't it? It's quite creamy up front initially. Nice. A nice sort of cream, creamy milk sort of flavour, but then yeah, at the end the blue just hits, doesn't it? And it's like a quite, quite, quite a, a long bitter aftertaste. It's not, it's not as good as the last two that we've looked at. I don't... No. Okay. So it's still it. nowhere near as bitter as the first one. I've just gone back to the okay. first one, actually. True. Okay. But it is like bitter. To, to give it for appearance. I'd say it's a seven. I'm yeah. liking a bit of blue on mine. Quite a bit of blue on mine. I, I'd be, for my piece, I'd be a six. Nikki? Yeah, I'm happy to go with that. Six, are we all happy yeah, on six? six. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, aroma. I think it's quite pungent on the aroma, quite quite strong. Um, yeah, you, you've said it's got less blue, yeah. more pungent aroma, initial creaminess, and then a long bitter aftertaste. Yeah, I, so aroma. I don't think the, I think the aroma should be sort of middle, middle of the road, sort of five-ish. Yeah. What do you guys think? Five or six. Yeah. Five. Five. No advance on five then. Okay. Uh, texture. <laughs> Texture's okay. Yeah. Texture's okay. Um, seven. Seven. Yeah, six. Seven. Seven. Yep. Seven. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. True to character. So your average score for those three attributes is six. Um, well, I suppose we should stay around the stay with the six then, yeah. Yeah, six. six. Okay, and flavour. It's middle of the road, isn't it? A sort of a six. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Okay. Six. six. I think it actually tastes a bit salty when you go back, having tasted some of the others, actually. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think have, it's got... Yeah, the, we finished up with one, one, three, four in first place. That was the third cheese. That's first. Uh, that, that ended up in what first? Yeah. One one three four. No. No. One, yeah. one, wasn't one two two six the one? Yeah. One two two six should be. Oh, first. sorry. Yes. That was yeah, ten right. all the way through, wasn't it? Yeah, it's me. I've gone dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to that one for the final day. Right. Um, I'm me. Yeah. One two <laughs> two six. Then... And I wasn't really going to drink tonight, but I now decided that I am going to sit and drink a bottle of red wine. <laughs> With the piece of Silson. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, one, two, two, six is in first place. One, three, three, four is in second place. And a quick scan will tell me that one, zero, eight, nine is third. Yeah. Yeah. So I put uh, for the winner comments very good aroma, creamy texture, stunning flavour, stronger blue notes on the nose. Do you wish to add anything to that? Well, it's almost faultless. Yeah. I'll put almost faultless then. That is good. I think you'd go a long, long way with a cheese iron to find a better Stilton than that. Yeah. Yeah. I think if they, I think if we started with that and I said go and get a better one out of the warehouse, you'd be boring a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> Very good.
Yeah, so very good aroma, creamy texture, stunning flavor, stronger blue notes on those. What was your last comment, David? Almost faultless. Almost faultless. In fact, well, it's thought. got to be faultless if, if, if we uh, gave it tens all the way through, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, faultless. <laughs> to be fair. Faultless. Yeah. They didn't quite get tens all the way through. Oh, did they not? Yeah. So almost is fine. Right. Uh, thank you very much for that. What I will say is we've still got uh, 520. A lot to go. 21 cheeses to go. And we should aim to be finished by, uh, I think Sarah said, was it midday? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So midday. we need to crack on then. Yeah. yeah. To crack on a little bit. So take a few minutes to. Yeah, get yourselves reset. I will get this sent off to Richard. And up with the best best other hard blue class C2 next. Just a minute getting this away. God, those crackers sound good. Come on, computer. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to make sure everything was there because I'm not um, actually taking any notes. Put it all into the. Set. Mm. Hoping that it gets there. <laughs> all right, let's just sort this mess out. Swish the. I just wish the staff in this house would bring me a cup of coffee. I don't really <laughs> Does it normally arrive on, uh, unexpectedly, just at the right moment, Bruce? Well, it should be on a silver platter, actually. You know, silver <laughs> yeah. well, That's what I'm used to. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. No, she'll kill me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need a coffee machine in my man cave here. Yeah. I was going to say, how have you not had a coffee machine in there? Ah, no, I can manage to go downstairs later if I really needed it. A bit of exercise. It's in the yeah, step I actually, for the I, day, I, never, isn't it? I, I don't want to bring any drink up here at all with an alcoholic. I play a bit of music and my kit is, I would say, very expensive and I do not want to spill on it. Uh, I used to play in bands when I lived in Scotland and it did happen the odd time where you would spill a glass of whiskey down the front of the blooming thing. I play an electric organ uh, and then it would just drip out onto your legs and the contacts underneath and make a right mess. But um, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. No, my kit's too expensive and I have no wish to replace it. <laughs> it, was a, it was a very expensive, selfish gift. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, they're not cheap, these things. Uh, yeah. No, I play about three or four hours a week, actually. Really? Uh, some, sometimes three hours in a session. Yeah, just, sometimes I put it through my PA system if I want to annoy the wife or the neighbour. <laughs> uh, but usually I just put my headphones on. It's best to phone the ideal mistakes. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, throughout the, all this lockdown of not going out there, it's, it's been great. Yeah, I was going to um, say, it gives you uh, something to... Uh keep focused on. Oh, I 
couldn't believe it one day. My wife's a Rod Stewart fan and she had Alexa on playing Rod's greatest hits. And I, I'm sitting there playing along to it. And I thought, why the F am I doing this? <laughs> uh, yeah, just jamming in. Yeah. So there's, there's one chap I used to play with when I lived in Scotland who got together in one of his old bands and they put some stuff on YouTube. So uh, I just call it up on my phone and put that through the PA system and uh, jam in with them in a kind of virtual session. It's modern technology. That's quite cool. Yeah, nice. yeah. Modern technology yeah. is well and truly embraced these days. Oh, it is, yeah. Even for an old sort of like me. Oh, here's David coming with his lovely selection. God, There's only four in this there? There's four in this one, isn't there, Bruce? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. It's David getting ahead of the game. <laughs> right. Open up the spreadsheet again, then I can close down. Um, I've got one up. missing in this one as well. Um, C2109. Yeah, 1090. That's the one I've got missing. Yeah, Have you got yeah. two of those? No, but this is the one that came in the separate package. <laughs> okay, uh, so we'll do the introductions all over again. When, oh, David's not there, the Invisible Man. <laughs> uh, this class doesn't have a sponsor again, so it's quite sad, but not funny. Yeah, so we've got till midday, so we've got an hour and ten minutes. I'm going to have to... We need to ramp it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah I'll, we I've do. said that to David before, so... But without, without kind of giving the game away that we're... Speaking, David, I'm just saying we were supposed to be finished by midday, right? So, we've still got um, whatever it was a lot of cheeses 21, few, yeah, 21 cheese to go. So, we'll, I'll do the introduction again and then we'll press on, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, hello, I'm Bruce McDonald, I'm the moderator for this class, and we're about to judge uh, class C2, which is best other hard blue cheeses. Uh, my judges are Nikki Philp, David Evans, and Kelly Dowson, who will just introduce themselves. So this time we'll start with David to keep things equal, please. Okay, yeah, I'm David, um, 38 years in the dairy industry, started milking cows in Mid Wales in 1983. Through cheese uh, production and uh, uh, packing and grading and then commercial and um, currently own dairy company. Uh, Kelly? Hi, I'm Kelly Dowson. I'm the Managing Director of the FIS Group um, and uh, we have a couple of business units within that. Spent the last 15 years in the food industry and judged at various different cheese events. So very much looking forward to um, sampling these cheeses today. Um, finally, Nikki. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm Purchasing Director of Harvey and Brockless. Um, we work with uh, lots of cheese producers and fine food producers across the UK. Um, looking forward to getting back into some judging today and tasting some amazing cheeses. Thank you very much. So first up we have uh, cheese 1004. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so quite blue on the sort of on the side, but actually when you look across the, across the top section, there's quite a big gap with a lot of bluing there, isn't there, on mine? I don't know about yours, Kelly. Mine's got quite a lot on the base, but it is quite inconsistent. It's not as blue on that side. You know, it's a bit yeah inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of inconsistent bluing and uh, um, all in all, six um, six piercing straight line marks, which is not, not ideal to look at. It feels very wet and very greasy. Mm. Quite well, yeah, but it just feels very. It feels like it's got quite a high, quite a bit of high moisture content on it. Um, mm -hmm. The orange colour isn't really that even. It's a lot sort of darker towards the rind, and then a lot lot lighter in the middle. So the the kind of coloration of the um, anatto is quite. Yeah, it's quite unbalanced yeah. as you look at it. Mine's the same. Look there, it's very. And in the middle. Yeah, very mottled, isn't it, almost? Yeah. Yeah. 
It smells a bit, I've got a nut, it smells nutty. Yeah, I think sometimes with these sort of, almost like the Shropshire Blue type cheeses, they can be a little bit more kind of caramelly in taste and a bit more nutty and stilty. It smells very powerful. Very creamy. Very creamy, very smooth on the palate, isn't it? Yeah. I guess it is the, the, te the, the wetness. The, the texture is almost, it's so creamy and smooth. It's almost, it's almost like a, a weak, mild cheddar kind of texture. You know what I mean? It's very, very, mm. very creamy. Yeah. It's, ta it's tangy, isn't it? it oh, as soon yeah. as I put it on my tongue, it was tangy. Yeah. Okay. You need to okay. score it. It's quite, it's a nice flavour at the start, isn't it? You just get that. And it's not too kind of like strong bitterness at the end. It's almost tastes, just tastes kind of mouldy at the end, but not necessarily in a bad way. Yeah, I know what you mean. So uh, shall we start with the appearance? I'd go like six, five or six for the appearance, just because five. of that inconsistency. Yeah, yeah I think five, yeah. Are we on five or six? Yeah. Five. 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 Okay. Uh, aroma. The room is okay. Um, six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. You, you said it was nutty and powerful. Yeah. Uh, texture. Texture's the nice. texture is nice. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. You said it was uh, creamy texture. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's good. Okay, true to character. Well, it's another blue hard cheese, isn't it? So yeah. Mm. It's hard and it's blue. Yeah. Mm. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. And flavour. Do you want to come back to that later, as previously? Yeah. Let's taste one more, and then perhaps we can make a judgment. Yeah. On it, yeah. We? Right. Uh, next up, one zero six zero. Goodness me. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. There's a bit of there's a bit of blueing going on in there. <laughs> I don't think I've ever Look seen that. Look at that. It's more blue. Oh, wow. yeah. It's really, really, really busy. Yeah. Yeah. You've got you've got the bluest bit, David, I think, but it's very blue, isn't it? I don't know. There we go. Seeing the cheese with so much blue, that, isn't it? That is it really good. is kind of riddled with it, isn't it? And it's so even. There's not even a... down to the base. I mean, that's the bottom oh, of yeah. the cheese, obviously. So that that looks sensational. It really does. It's a lot harder than the others as well, isn't it? Yeah. A lot more crumbly. Wow, it's it's not as powerful as some of the other cheeses, but it's lovely. It's really lovely balanced. Wow. I find it quite. I think it's got a nice flavour, but I find it quite salty. Yeah, I've got. I think salty. It's quite farm farmyardy. It's different. Very different to the other. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange one. Much firmer curd. It is. Mm. When you look at it, you'd think it would have more flavour than it's actually got. But at the same time, it's it's okay. Mm. Well, yeah, I, I, oh, sorry. No, no, go for it. I was just going to say appearance. I think we'd have to score it quite high, wouldn't we? Yeah. It's really nine. Fine. Nine? Yeah. 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 Okay, Bruce, should we have a for that? Yeah, I've got nine for appearance. Yeah. Uh, aroma. But not the usual amount of 
Seven. Um, yeah, seven. I'm kind of failing. Seven. Okay. Texture. You said it had a harder. Oh, harder. I call it harder body, actually. Yeah, it's fine. The texture is yeah. fine. I mean, with the cheese yeah. and so much bluing, it's pretty good. Yeah. So I'd, like go, I'd go seven or an eight. Yeah. Yeah, seven. seven. Feels seven. About right, but... Okay. Okay, true to character. Well, it ticks the box, doesn't it? Yeah. So probably the same as the last one, whatever we gave the last you one. You gave the last one eight. Yeah. Eight. Okay, and now to flavour from uh, that one, and then we'll go back to that one. Flavour flavor for this particular cheese. I think I prefer the flavour of the last one, because I think, mm -hmm. for me, the salt dominates a bit. Yeah, um, yeah. What did you sorry, what did we give the first one in terms of appearance? Uh five. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um yeah, okay. So what, what where are we at with this one? Sorry, what are we at? Uh we're at flavour for this one one zero six zero. I think it just I think it I think I preferred the flavor on on the first one and the second one mainly because for me I found this a little bit more salty. It's yeah. um, salty and it had yeah. lower flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Um okay so what are we saying on this six? Yes. Yeah. 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 And what would you say for the first one then? Cuz the first one you said you had um tangy flavor, nutty and powerful aroma, creamy texture. But seven seven yeah yeah uh, i think it's a bit better than this not miles better yeah. than this yeah, yeah. you seven david seven hundred percent okay right she's one zero eight two Really gone to town on the wrapping. This is interesting. Hmm. I can see the, the, rod, the rods on this one. Yeah, the yeah. same with mine coming from that direction. Yeah, that that doesn't look great to me. No, agreed. I think sometimes you, you see the marks of the, the where the piercing irons have gone through it, the needles, because it because it's a tight texture, and mm, yeah. the mold just goes down that pathway. It doesn't uh, so doesn't go anywhere out. else. No, it's not open enough to, to. And there are some cheeses that are meant to be like that. Yeah, it's not very blue, and it's quite inconsistently spread. Like, the... and it doesn't smell. Sort of amazing because it hasn't hasn't got a really really strong kind of yeah. flavor to it. Taste different parts of this cheese, we're going to get very different flavor profiles because you've got everything yeah. from a piece which is really blue to a piece which has got little blue in it, haven't you? Yeah, you've also got pa patches of pale curd which is more acid and, and more bitter. Yeah, you can see there the paler, more acid, crumbly, almost. Almost like a precious style, and when you taste it, that's much more bitter. Much better. It's mushroomy as well. I've got some yeah. mm, oh, mushroom flavors. Yeah. I think it tastes a bit dirty. Yeah, that's not great. It's different, radically different to the others. Crumbly. You know, it's quite dry feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. I'm not sold on that. No, me. That's okay. It. Okay, so scores? Scores, appearance. I'd say that's low for me, like four. Yeah, yeah. No more than four, maximum. I think that'd be more of a three. Okay. okay. Uh, aroma? Five. Five, middle of the road. Yeah. 
texture. Not not great. Not so, good at all. Four. So very variable. You know, one corner which is rich in colour and is creamy. Two inches across is very pale and acid like a Cheshire. Yeah. Yes. It's four. Three. Yeah. I'm happy with either of those. Yeah, four, I think. Okay. Four, generous four. Okay, uh, two to character. It's got wow. to be low, isn't it? Well, it's blue, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> well, but you, said it's, you said it's not very and inconsistent blue. Just yeah. Patch of pale so, red. The yeah, well, it's going to be. Well, it means it's, not, it's not great, so I'd be no more than a five. Yeah, five. Yep, okay. And flavour. Mush, mushroom and slightly dirty flavour. Two. I was going to go four, three, four. Three. Three. Three in the middle. Okay, that's fine. That's that one done. Just save that. So, cheese 1090. It's very dark, isn't it? Yeah, it does look quite dark. It's better on the um looks better on the colour kind of overall coloration looks better. Yeah, it's consistent. It's, it is consistent actually. I think it's maybe the yeah, mm. the blues, you know, not busy, but it there's enough there. A lot of um, the straight line piercing marks again on mine. Mm. I haven't got any of those. But very nice, rich colour. Mm. Don't like it. Oh, I'm not missing out then, no. 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 Doesn't taste like cheese. Does it not? It looks very crumbly. <laughs> But mine, mine isn't no, to be crumbly, but it's not, it's got a very strange flavour and it's not particularly pleasant and I wouldn't be nibbling it at all. That won't uh, be with your Shiraz tonight then, no? No, that won't make it to the <laughs> lounge and the Shiraz tonight, no. 